This video is brought to you by Curtis's Bookstore. Curtis's Bookstore is the only bookstore on the server. Wait a minute, it's not even on the server. Is he still paying me? Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here from the Viking Pilot Java subserver. Um, today we're going to do something completely not nether based, he says while standing on the ceiling of the nether. I am going to be putting a portal here, yep, right here, right where these two um, planks are. And then I guess what we're going to be doing is solving one of my dilemmas on this server. Actually, a couple of my dilemmas on this server. Dilemma number one is the fact that the Brimstone Forge seems to have run out of tokens of undying. Dilemma number two is the fact that I don't have enough emeralds to trade with my villagers and the emerald store doesn't seem to be stocked. So we're going to be making a raid farm. Yep, that's right. I'm going to die several times probably. Anyway, uh, this raid farm, I'm going to use the Raiseworks design. The uh, portal that I'm putting in here is just temporary. It's going to, well, not temporary. It, to start with, it's going to be temporarily linked to an island in the middle of the ocean. Then I will eventually raise it up and link it with the um, AFK platform uh, for the for the raid farm. But for now, this portal is uh, just the start of me me doing this. I'm going to get my villagers in. I found myself a nice island. Uh, really small island in the middle of an ocean so I don't have to spawn proof a lot of stuff um, and it's close to a pillager outpost and close to a village so I can get villagers however I have made sure that the village is outside of the spawn sphere so I don't have to worry about accidentally triggering a raid over there um, just by um, just by starting the farm uh, anyway, uh, let me get to it. We'll see what happens. So we need some obsidian. One there, one there. Give me my block back. Let's put that there, that there. This does not have to be a big portal. Uh, just has to be big enough for me to get up there. So two, three, two, three. What else do I have? How about a piece of stone? Yeah, that works. Well, or I could do that. We'll make it full on top. Um, flint and steel. Well, so it turns out that I really decided that I didn't want to have that raid farm where I was thinking about having the raid farm. So I found another location that is much further away from spawn than the other one uh, and also not close to any villages. So that ought to make this a little bit easier.
so we have mostly completed our farm. I've got a few dirt blocks around that I need to uh, remove. There are a whole bunch of dirt blocks up there that I need to remove. Plus, I need to be placed, go up there and place some lava. Uh, which means that I need to make a trip to the nether. So I will hop into the nether, grab some lava, um, come back out, place it, and I'll be back to show you the completed farm. Uh, then we have the fun part of wrangling a villager and putting him on a bed way down there. And of course, I have to remove all of that dirt down there as well. Um, then we'll give it a try and see what happens. I'll probably die, but you know, I think I'll shove all my stuff in a in a uh, shulker box and get myself a bed up here as well. Um, all right, well, I will see you soon. And here we are at the top of the raid farm. Everything up here has got the lava in place. All the dirt's been removed. Got our ice floor down there. I think that this farm is done. Now I just got to go get myself a villager. Um, all right, well, bring you in for that. Welcome back once again. So it's done. It's finished. Um, I've run it and it worked really well. Uh, so I only ran it for, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes. Uh, and let me show you what I got. So oh, as you can see, I brought a cow up so that I can have milk to end the bad omen. Um, I put glass all the way around just to be on the safe side um, I have a storage system well we'll, we'll start off down here uh, this really needs a storage system um, as it is it's just these two chests that everything gets dumped into uh, so a bunch of ominous banners and vindicator heads and saddles uh, so one two three four five saddles uh, 26 ominous banners, um, a pillager head, uh, four vindicator heads, uh, and a bunch of axes. Um, so that is pretty much the, the junk stuff except for the heads. And this is almost a full chest of Totems of Undying, 64 emeralds, 10 glass mm. bottles, Six glowstone, 11 sugar, and eight redstone dust from the witches. And really, that was only for like maybe five minutes at the most. So if I were to run this thing for a while, I'm sure that I would come up with a whole bunch of stuff and could uh, easily keep a shot in stock. Uh, so I really need to put a storage system down there, a sorting system to get everything in the right spot. But before we do that, I'm going to show you guys how the whole raid farm works. So the first thing you need to do is go someplace where you can find a pillager captain. And you're going to kill him. Like so. And that's going to give you the bad omen effect. So once you have the bad omen effect, you fly back to the raid farm. And you turn the system on. First you have to turn on the clock that controls the trap door that drops you. Then you turn on this circuit here which will uh, push people over into the right corner into the system and you're going to wait for the trap door to let go and for it to drop in the meantime let me turn the volume down oh there we go falling so we'll turn all of the sounds down a little bit uh, and when we get up here the rage should be just about ready to start we're going to wait to hear the uh, the raid horns should be any second now yep there they were uh, and now guys are going to start spawning in up above and pushing each other into the 
the off the ice and into the killing chamber, and you just slice away at them. And you do that for as long as you want. And once you're done with that, you grab all the loot that you want out of the chests. Hopefully you have installed your sorting system by this point. And then you consolidate all your loot into your celebratory victory chest. And that's about it. So like I said before, I still have to go back down there and install a, an item sorter. Uh, but that's not too much. Um, you have the milk behind me to end the bad omen. I've already had some and replaced it, uh, but that's it. I would like to thank everyone for watching my video here. Um, I'm glad that you stayed with me to the end here. I was able to get some good progress on a couple of issues I'd had. First off, I was able to get myself a whole bunch of these and make it so that we can have them, uh, uh, for sale and back in stock in the community because they've been out of stock over at Joko uh, at the Brimstone Forge for a while. Uh, the second thing is the emeralds, which I'm going to need a lot of for my villager trading. Uh, so it is nice to be able to have a, uh, to get those, to have a source. And hopefully I will be putting a um, another couple chests in here selling emeralds as well. Um, but I guess that's it for now. Um, I do have work that I need to do over there. I need to spend some time putting in an item sorter over there um, because I want to make sure that we have the ability to um, to sort out the items that we need and and uh, not sort out the other ones. I uh, want to throw away the, um, <laughs> that was a silly sentence. I want to throw away the axes. I want to throw away the spider eyes. I don't really need those. Um, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then hopefully I can get all the stuff that I do want, uh, such as the totems of undyings and the emeralds and all of the stuff from the witches into uh, individual chests and not have to worry about cleaning it out after each time I, uh, spend some time there. Um, but I guess that's about it. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. Um, if you could subscribe, I would appreciate it. And of course, comments are always welcome. And I will see you all in the next video. So long for now.